What up everyone, it's Kirtan Singh and I'm back with a brand new video. Today, I decided why not count down my top 10 favorite Star Wars movie moments. So there are a lot of movie moments to go through and honestly, I want to emphasize the fact that this is my countdown of my top 10 Star Wars movie moments. Because if I was counting down Star Wars moments in general, there would be a few scenes, a few moments I should say, from books and also the television series. So with that out of the way, let's get started with some honorable mentions. Rey's intro from Star Wars The Force Awakens. The pod race from The Phantom Menace. War Above Coruscant from Revenge of the Sith. So those are my three honorable mentions I just want to bring up and I'm sure there probably could be more in the honorable mentions but I'm just going to keep it as those three for now. I'm not going to go into too much detail about them. So let's get to the top 10. Coming in at number 10, we have Jar Jar Binks steps in shit. I'm just kidding, that's not the actual 10th spot. The actual 10th position goes to Vader's hallway slaughter from Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. Now this movie scene is just here because it is so epic and it is so badass. The music is perfect, the way Vader acts is perfect, and I think the whole scene in general is really good. I don't mind the fact that he gets less aggressive in the A New Hope, because obviously I understand the fact that these movies aren't made in sequential order, so I don't mind the fact that he goes from a real badass here to A New Hope being a little beaten down and not really as active against the fight in o against Obi-Wan, I should say. In the number 9th position, we have the first ever Star Wars opening, the opening crawl to A New Hope. And not just the opening crawl, we also have the Star Destroyer chase scene. And this scene is obviously my favorite opening in all of Star Wars, with second position obviously going to the opening to Revenge of the Sith, as that was an honorable mention. Now this is just a real masterclass in filmmaking by having, emphasizing who the um, not dominant figures are as the Star Destroyer covers the whole screen by really setting an atmosphere for what is to come in Star Wars and it's just such a good opening I can't help but put it on my top 10 movie moments At number 8 we have Order 66 Now Order 66 is such a beautiful and well done moment Honestly the um, transitioning between each scene is so seamlessly done and I think the whole feelings you get when you watch it is like, wow, this is happening. And I do wish that we got a little more of the killing in the Jedi Temple, but I understand that the movie was already quite long and there was an extended cut of the movie in the first place, so maybe there was more. And I do know there was a deleted scene with Luminar and Dooley, Quinlan Voss, and I'm so glad that wasn't in it because Quinlan Voss is one of my favorite characters. Love him in Dark Disciples. I actually am writing a feature film script fan feature film script around him, but nonetheless, Order 66 is in the number 8 position. Coming in in number 7, we have one of the most iconic moments in Star Wars history. We have Luke versus Vader in Cloud City from Empire Strikes Back. Now, a lot of people would have this in some of their top 3 moments, the moment where Vader says, no, I am your father. And while that is a really good moment and it's a really good plot twist, in all of cinema, I think that from a Star Wars perspective it's always so great and that's why it's on my top 10 movie moments because I can understand why it's such a good movie moment but on a personal level it just didn't have that same impact. The also downfall that this battle scene has for me is that I like the starting, I like the ending but the middle part where Vader is using the force push and pull on all the objects it just really takes me out of it because of how um, well it doesn't age. It's yeah, it doesn't age all that well for me personally, which is why it's at number 7 on the list. In the number 6 position, we have Victory Celebration from Return of the Jedi. Now, this is honestly such a beautiful moment, whether you like the Nub Nub song or you like the Victory Celebration song, Victory theme, whichever one. Um, I like both. I think both of them really work in certain contexts. I can make a whole video on it to be honest, but basically the victory theme really works. This is one in the special edition. It works really well when you consider there's a sequel trilogy because it has a more dark undertone to it. But the whole Ewok celebration song works really well if Star Wars Episode 6, episode six was the cap off for the Star Wars saga as a whole. So both of them really work and I think as a whole the scene is just so beautiful and it's a really perfect ending for the trilogy and it would have been a perfect ending for the whole saga but I guess we'll wait till the Rise of Skywalker comes out to see if it's outdone. 
In the number 5 position, we have Duel of the Fates. Now this is one of the most epic fights there is in all of Star Wars. I think this is beautiful in the sense not only is it visually appealing, but there's a key story there. Sure, it might not be father and son versus each other, or brother and brother fighting each other, but it's a master and apprentice taking on the first ever Sith to come out of hiding for uh, thousands of years. Who knows how long exactly, because they could easily change now that the whole Disney era has begun. But basically, this fight means a lot. Qui-Gon meditates in between. That's something you don't really see happen in fights. And the pacing is so well done. The editing is so great. And how can you not love Darth Maul and the Duel of the Fates theme? So basically, it's an epic fight to watch. I think there's a really good meaning behind it and underneath it that if you can really look at it from a wider perspective and really just observe everything, you can really see why it's an amazing Star Wars movie moment. <laughs> In the number 4th position, we have Obi-Wan introduces Luke to the Force from A New Hope. So this occurs after Obi-Wan saves Luke from the Sand People. So what he does, he takes them to his hut and he explains the Force, he gives him Anakin's lightsaber. And honestly, I think it's a really powerful moment, I think it's a really, really informative moment. And I think it's really, I just really love it because when you put it with the flashbacks with from Revenge of the Sith, in the, when you have that in your mind and you watch it, and you also just have one of the most iconic quotes in my opinion, where how Obi-Wan describes the Force. Now the Force is what gives the Jedi his power. It's an energy field created by all living things. It surrounds us, it penetrates us, it binds the galaxy together. So that's why that's one of my most favorite movie moments from all of Star Wars. In the number 3 position, we have the Jedi Steps from The Force Awakens. Yes, this movie moment came recently within the whole Star Wars universe in time of release, but honestly it's an amazing movie moment. It has been tainted from The Last Jedi with how Luke tosses the lightsaber away, but honestly, nonetheless, this movie moment in The Force Awakens is really amazing and powerful. The feeling I got when I saw Luke there and when Rey came up to give him the lightsaber, it's drawn out, but it's drawn out knowing that all the Star Wars fans watching her will be like, oh my god, this is happening. We're seeing Luke again. He's on this island. What great things is he gonna do with the lightsaber, with the Force? And yes, it is ruined by The Last Jedi, but we won't talk about that. I can do that for a whole bloody video, to be honest, one of my worst movie moments of all time. But nonetheless, the Jedi steps from The Force Awakens, seeing Luke again, is in the number 3 position. And bringing us to the top 2, we have Luke v Vader in Return of the Jedi in the second Death Star. So now this is an amazing movie moment. I definitely think this is better than the battle in Cloud City because I think there's more weight to this battle. The fact that we know that they're father and son, the fact that Luke can be swayed to the dark side, the fact that Leia is brought up, we know Leia is also tied to them now and it just has a lot more weight going into it. The fact that this is the finale, the big epic showdown, and the Emperor is also brought into it. We see that Luke is showing signs of the dark side, signs of the path that his father went through, obvious symbolism with the hand, and there's just a lot going on. I think it's really well choreographed in the fact that it's giving out a lot of emotion. So it's not really fancy, but it's really doing what it has to do with the movie moment. And that brings us to our number one movie moment from Star Wars, and that brings us to Revenge of the Sith, Anakin vs. Obi-Wan on Mustafar. Now, I love this battle scene. It's clearly my favorite battle in all of Star Wars. Some people say it's drawn out. I can understand why they would think that, but I always admired this scene. To me, seeing all them use all these skills, them tossing the lightsabers, them using hand-to-hand -hand combat in one part, the force pushing each other away, and the environments keep on changing. And I think that's what really makes the film not, the scene, sorry, not really feel like it's dragging on because we have each location change in several parts and playing this with the Empire, Emperor, sorry, versus Yoda, it works so well. And the Battle of the Heroes theme, oh, it's amazing. One of the best Star Wars themes in general. And honestly, this is such a powerful moment when you get up to the You Are The Chosen One speech by Obi-Wan. It is so well acted and I personally think Hayden Christensen does a good job as a bad guy really having all that anger within him. Sure, the dialogue's a little cliche, but that's not his fault. 
and Ian McGregor obviously kills it. And watching this scene, you know, it really makes my heart skip a beat. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you've enjoyed that video. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And let me know in the comment section down below what your favourite Star Wars movie moments are. With the Rise of Skywalker coming out later this year, there could be a lot more movie moments coming to my list. And remember that these are only the movie moments from Star Wars that are my favourite. You take into consideration the shows, the books, the list will change. And until next time, I'll see us.